today we are working on a Toyota. <laughs> so this car came in with intermittent no start, which means the car won't start sometimes. It ran for a few seconds and then it died. So I tried again. Now it's officially a no start. So I already scanned the vehicle for any trouble codes and I only found some random misfire codes which is not helping diagnosing this no start condition. So I moved on to checking the basics, you know, spark, fuel. So when I checked for spark, it had spark. But when I was checking for fuel, I found that all four cylinders getting flooded with gasoline. How do I know this? Because I smelled gas on all four spark plugs and it was wet too. To get the gas out of the cylinders, I unplugged all the fuel injectors and cranked the car a couple of times. And then I plugged back the injectors and tried to start it. Now I got it running, but I had to step on the gas a little bit to keep it running. Although the engine seems to be running fine in idle, when I put it in drive, it ran like crap. So before I dig more into this problem, I went ahead and did some more research. And guess what I found? A few people with same exact condition and they all said a bad head gasket will cause this low compression issue in all four cylinders. So the next thing I did was a compression test. These are the specs I was expecting. And these are the specs I got. So this car going to need an engine because I don't see a point in installing a new head gasket on an engine with almost 300,000 kilometers. So if you ever get a Corolla with the same symptoms, just do a compression test before chasing everything. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.